Hi everyone, this is Joe Henches for Beyond the Chart, and this is Tuesday, October 15th, and this is a market update for the next day. Um, the Dow was down, oh my gosh, what have I got? I got oil in front of me. <laughs> I need the Dow, where's the Dow? Here we go. The Dow was down 133 points today, so we've had, um, what, I guess four up days in a row if you count this little uh, little up day down here on the 9th. So uh, four days and then we've had a down day. So who knows? We're sitting here again waiting on the government. Honestly, this thing either could continue pushing. It looks very impulsive. Or I, I, you could almost make the case that it could just drop out of bed too. Just, I mean, literally because the... You know, the 10's down below the 20, both the 20, which is the gray. Let me get rid of this. You know, the, the blue-gray line is, is downward sloping. The 50's downward sloping. The 10's down below here. Um, but that's always going to be the case before you start to turn and break up through it. So we're in a little bit of that um, indecision point again. Uh, the momentum short term seems to be up. But it also kind of turned today. So we'll have to just see what we're getting clues on anything else. And again, I get, think it comes back to watching individual stocks. Um, the New York Composite, you know, really about the same picture over the last three to four days. You know, again, this has been stronger than the Dow. Uh, let me take a look at the S&P 500. Um, again, same thing. And, uh, you know, this, this kind of a wedge. This wedge is clear on the weekly chart, actually. You can see how we've got a very defined wedge shape. Now, this is last week. It just doesn't update for the current week. So this is Friday's close on the 11th. Um, but it's still, this is, the, this is the way that wedge was looking, uh, you know, for the week. Uh, and we've basically just pulled back into it over the last two days, you know, right here. Uh, let's see, we'll take a look at the NASDAQ. Uh, similar thing, again, this rising wedge that we've got here, we bro clearly broke down out of it, and now we've pulled back up into it. Many times we're just going to pull back up to the, to the trend line. Now this is pulled back up into it. Now, so, again, like I mentioned the other day, I think on the weekend, if you get above this line here and we start pushing higher, uh, it could mean that this this whole little pattern has basically failed. So we'll just have to watch to see see if we take a look at the volume. Now the volume, you know, nothing dramatically. Uh, I mean, we've got, I was looking for a dramatic drop off of some kind. I don't see that. I mean, we have one day and, you know, above these, this dotted line I've got in here is a 50-day average of the volume. So this is the last 10 weeks of running, last 10 weeks of the volume. Uh, so clearly today was well above the last 50 weeks in, uh, in, in the sell-off that we had today. Uh, but other than yesterday, you know, last week, those, those rally days were well above the average. So we had good volume coming in. Now, let's see. Next thing, and then yesterday, the interesting thing is the Russell 2000 actually closed at a new high. So here you've got the small to mid-sized companies Pushing higher and closing at a new uh, high, and is it? And I'm not sure if it's a. You know, actually, I think it may be an all-time high. So I mean, you look at this picture, and you're thinking, "Wow, this was this was year 2000 when the the Nasdaq was peaking, you know, at an extreme, and the Dow peaked in January 2000. And look at this, the Russell 2000, huge sell-off, but then. We're back, and we're back above, way above 2007, 2008. So, you know, you talk about you talk about a breakout and trend line. So the you know, the real thing is, I mean, maybe the market is trying to tell us here that you know nothing's going to happen, or if something does happen, these guys don't get agreement. That for whatever reason, it's not going to matter. That, that we're going to muddle through. I don't know. I mean, to me, it's only going to be one of two things. Either that's what's going to happen, because I don't see these guys reaching any dramatic agreement, especially with some of the proposals on the table today. Um, or this thing's just going to fall off a cliff, and everybody's going to be totally shocked and surprised. But 
I don't know. Right now, things some of this stuff's looking pretty strong. Uh, let's take a look at something we haven't looked at in a while, which is gold and oil. Uh, gold has continued to sell off here uh, over the last month and a half, two months. Uh, you're not getting any kind of panic uh, getting into the gold market. You know, there's none of the world's coming to the end. I must buy gold kind of thing going on. Um, so, you know, that's probably telling us something, too. Um, you know, clearly in a solid downtrend. I mean, you've still got the 50 below the 200. You've got the 20 below the 50. And you get this 10 exponential below the 20. So uh, nothing there. No signs of a turnaround as far as I could see. I mean, there's, you know, next, next testing point is down here at the uh, at the low from uh, late June early July uh, let's take a look at oil oil selling off also uh, over the last month month and a half here you can see this major trend line since April that it came down and it kind of tried to get support at and then it's rolled over and broken through there uh, it now is getting a little bit of a test in here low now this is the USO uh, the oil ETF, uh, 36.4, a low 36.42, low today 36.45. So we're getting some, you know, it's trying to hold at the support line, but it doesn't look real positive to me. Now it's above the 200, but short term, we just have to see whether, I mean, there's, there's, the trend's down. The intermediate short term, the intermediate trend is down. So, um, let's see. I think that's really about it. I don't want to go into a lot of the individual stocks uh, tonight. We kind of talked about that on the weekend. Maybe we'll take a check to see how they some of these have done uh, going into Thursday night, and I'll talk to you guys again on Thursday night uh, because, of course, Thursday is the, the, the 17th. That's the big trigger day that everybody's talked about. Of course, now some, some people are moving off of that day. So uh, we'll just see how that, uh, how that plays out. And um, hope you guys have a great day trading uh, tomorrow and Thursday. And we'll talk to you Thursday night. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart.